Aquarius Thai Eco Flight. Today we're flying over an area of eastern Idaho that encompasses the foothills of Idaho and Montana's Centennial Mountain Range. This part of the Greater Yellowstone ecosystem is approximately 10 miles northwest of the tiny town of Kilgore, Idaho, and just under 60 miles from Yellowstone National Park. Here, GYC is working to protect important habitat for grizzly bears and Yellowstone cutthroat trout. The Kilgore Project is a gold exploration project that aims to build a cyanide heap leach gold mine in the foothills of the Centennial Mountain Range on the Caribou Targi National Forest. The project seeks to build 10.5 miles of new roads and 140 drill stations for gold exploration. The company plans to operate motorized drill rigs from summer to fall, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and drill up to 420 holes. To give you an idea, this is about 18 football fields that would be developed, and they would be clear cut, covered in bus sized drill pads and punctured with drill holes. I've done a lot of research into alternative methods for mining things like gold and silver, and it's really difficult to do it in a responsible, environmentally sensitive manner. And so a lot of times the gold mining projects that we see are inseparable from these highly toxic methods like cyanide heap leach gold mining. These foothills are part of a unique east-west corridor connecting Yellowstone to the crown of the continent in northwest Montana and the wildlands of central Idaho. This corridor is essential for grizzly bear who rely on the intact route to connect with other grizzly bear populations. This area also contains several headwater streams that are important habitat for Yellowstone cutthroat trout. Drilling from the project would devastate this area and leave the landscape unrecognizable. It would disturb the grizzly route, severing the connection between grizzly populations and ultimately reducing genetic diversity among grizzly bear. Sediments from drilling and toxic cyanide runoff might also make their way into nearby waterways and into the Snake River Aquifer, polluting drinking water, contaminating irrigation water, and destroying crucial aquatic habitat for species like Yellowstone cutthroat trout. Greater Yellowstone Coalition is working with our partners to keep cyanide heap leach gold mining operations off of the Caribou Targi National Forest. We're working with groups like Idaho Conservation League, Western Mining Action Project, and Advocates for the West, as well as private landowners. In 2020, a federal judge revoked the U.S. Forest Service's approval of the Kilgore Project because the Forest Service failed to look at all of the impacts of the project to groundwater and Yellowstone cutthroat trout. Today, the U.S. Forest Service is taking a harder look at groundwater and fish before issuing a new decision on the Kilgore Project. Greater Yellowstone Coalition is working to build a grassroots army to oppose this mine we need as many voices as possible. You can learn more about Greater Yellowstone Coalition and the Kilgore Project from the blog on our website. And you can also find my email address on the site, which you can use to contact me or join our mailing list. The Greater Yellowstone ecosystem is the wrong place for a cyanide heap leach gold mine. Together, we can show the world that the Greater Yellowstone ecosystem is more valuable than gold.